the most important lesson, or let me call it the life lesson that I've learned in IAC is definitely has to be the teamwork skills. There was not a single module in my mod in my subject where there was not a group module, group work. It was quite challenging sometimes, but at the same time, it helped me learn how to excel my best when you are provided with the works in any of the circumstances, how to excel my best in terms of the productivity, how to excel my best in terms of the performance, by deepening my understanding and that also at the same time incorporating everyone's perspective, everyone's ideas and everyone's thought and delivering the task in time. I think this is one of the uh, most important skills for my academic career and the future interviewer. The time that I've been here, I, when I took this job, I was an engineer, and a civil engineer in the Ministry of Agriculture in my country. And when I, I came here, I had been working in the drainage and irrigation sector. And one of the things, one of the problems we have is, is modeling. We can't do modeling because we don't have ground data. And a lot of the, the work that we've done here is how to build models, how to get free data from you know satellites and whatnot and to make that work and it's very important for developing countries because it's very expensive to invest in the the sensing equipment and whatnot but here you have all this free data floating around in the sky quite literally and IAG teaches you how to make the most of that how to use existing tools how to build on them how to improve those tools to adapt them to the circumstances in your country and your profession. So that's one of the things I think will be very useful for my job. What I will say to anyone thinking to take a master's at UNESCO IH is that one, the programs here are well structured and they're aligned to provision of solution to the current problems in, in water across the world. The number two, the staff here is great. We have quite a number of visiting lectures here who are well known in their specialized field. And then finally, the culture, we have the culture of diversity around. So it's a wonderful experience studying here. My favorite um, class was um, advanced water treatment and reuse. And um, it's actually on um, <coughs> desalination technology and membranes. It was interesting for me because before I came, it's an area of interest for me. And uh, I've had a passion for membranes in trying to treat water, salty water and brackish water, and also to reuse it. So for me, it was the best because I also had an interest to do an MSc thesis on it. So it was the best. What inspired me most in the study here was looking at SDGs. SDGs is very important. It's the development agenda for next 15 years and goal six, which, is, which deals with water. I think uh, most of the SDG goals, about seven of them, so they relate to water, and it's very important to study water, so that we back in Pacific Pacific seeds, we need to uh, manage our water resources so that we are able to do our development policies such that it aligns to water. Water is very important back at home. Yeah. So I'm on a seeds uh, fellowship, uh, and. Uh, Water resources in Pacific Islands, we have different uh, types of islands, so we have different uh, water resources associated with the islands. We have low-lying islands like Atoll, where we only have groundwater. We have uh, volcanic islands where we have both groundwater and surface water. So management of this, these resources are different. We can, though the techniques are same, but uh, development plans and managements are different. So coming at IEG, it provides you the holistic way of how to manage water resources, both in terms of groundwater, surface water, or alternative water source. Yeah. For me, the highlights of studying in UNESCO are both. The quality of the education is really, really good, and the teachers are great, and they help you a lot, and you can see the different perspectives. But also for me, what's really important is that it's a stu the students, the diversity of the cultures, and the mixture, and interacting, and the social life is really important for me. So I think that those two points are the highlights right here. The experiences in terms of the academics is something you cannot get anywhere else. I know that if I've gone to another place, I wouldn't have got this because I have friends at different countries studying. So the experience, classwork, um, field visits, 
and laboratory practices. You can't match it anywhere else. This is the best place to be if you want to have anything to do with water education. At the center of our engagement with all of these issues is the UNESCO IHE, Institute for Water Education, a unique global facility that educates and trains professionals and organizations across the globe to develop knowledge, skills and capacity. The Institute is the largest international graduate water education facility in the world. Since it was founded in 1957, it has trained more than 14,500 water professionals from 160 countries. At the heart of the program are four MSc courses in water management, environmental science, urban water and sanitation, and water science and engineering, attended by about 200 students annually. Talking about the multicultural environment at the Institute, I think we all know that UNESCO IHC is a world in itself. My train of thoughts after coming here has certainly broadened. I have actually developed the, you know, the better knowledge of everyone's thought, others' belief, and also increased the cultural awareness, of course. I definitely have learned much more than what the course book has to offer. So I think I'm taking away the most amazing experience and which is a very rare experience of studying alongside the best people of the world and which who wants to give back to the community regardless of where they come from regardless of the color, regardless of the nationality, I think which is amazing. The multicultural environment here, it teaches you a lot of things, but one of my favorite things out of it would be the food. I've tasted food from all over the world, Africa, Asia, the other places in the Caribbean, the US, Europe. And I found a lot of similarities, some interesting differences, and there, it, it's so amazing to, to find those, you know, that somebody prepares a dish almost exactly like you do at home from a place that's 6,000 miles away and they've never heard of yours and you've never heard of theirs, but it tastes like almost the same. Uh, to be part of a student association board as a uh, vice chairperson, uh, it's an amazing experience because uh, you become voice of the student. Um, I live in a student house called, uh, it's, it's Amina Cruzmanstrat, and it's entirely IHE students. So it's a very warm, friendly place. There are a lot of get-togethers. Um, I don't know if you'd call them fights. We love to share, we, we have to share all these common rooms when it comes to the group work. But um, every time there's a party or an event, somebody's got a dinner, people just show up, chairs show up, you know, food shows up, things just come and it turns into a lovely event and there's so much going on at Mino. About uh, Delft that I need to get used to most, I think I still don't own a bike. I'm not biking right now, so I'm still walking. I think that's something I need to get used to before I leave. I, I tried to learn, but then I said, it's okay, I should walk. That's something I need to get used to. It's, it's quite different back at home where we walk a lot. So yeah, that's something I need to <laughs> get used to. I'm living in uh, Cesar von Strat. Um, this is a really awesome housing. Um, we, we have a lot of facilities, it's complete. We have washing machine, we have microwave, and we were share the kitchens and also the bathroom with two more students and there we will also like have a conversations uh, spending a free time together the city Delft is a beautiful city it's really calm and quiet but at the same time there's a lot of social movements and there's a lot of concerts that as there are a lot of students living here because, okay, there's UNESCO and there's two so we can all hang out together. 
there's a lot of cultural and activities and that's really good. And what also is really good about Dove is that it's really well located. So it's in a point that you can actually are close to most of the things, so you can travel a lot.